Zinedine Zidane is a legend of Real Madrid, both as a player and as a coach, but how good was he at signing players for Real Madrid? In this video, we'll take a look at all the 12 players he bought and where they are right now. Zidane spent a total of four and a half years as head coach of Real Madrid across two stints. During this time, he enjoyed a lot of success, including three back-to-back -back Champions Leagues and two La Liga titles. But he didn't do it alone. He had really good players at the club when he joined and bought a few more. Let's look at all the 12 signings Zidane made as coach of Madrid and where they are right now. Luka Jovic Luka Jovic was one of the most expensive signings Zidane made, costing 60 million euros in 2019. The Serbian striker had scored 27 goals for Eintracht Frankfurt in the previous season and was expected to be the next big thing at Madrid. However, things didn't go as planned for Jovic, who struggled to adapt to the Spanish league and the pressure of playing for Real. He only scored three goals in 51 appearances for the club and was loaned out to his former team in 2021. He then joined Fiorentina on a free transfer in 2023 after three barren years at Madrid. Eden Hazard Eden Hazard was another big name signing that Zidane made, paying 100 million euros to Chelsea in 2019. The Belgian winger was one of the best players in the world at the time and was supposed to be the new star of Madrid. However, Hazard has been plagued by injuries and poor form since his arrival, scoring only 7 goals in 76 appearances. He's also been criticised for his lack of professionalism and fitness, as well as his tendency to laugh with the opposition players after losing games. His contract with Madrid was terminated by mutual consent in June 2023 after three disappointing seasons. He then announced his retirement from football in October 2023. Alberto Soro Alberto Soro was a young prospect that Zidane signed on a four-year contract in 2019. The Spanish midfielder had impressed for Real Zaragoza in the second division and was seen as a potential future star. However, he never played for Real Madrid as he was immediately loaned back to Zaragoza for the 2019-20 season. He then joined Granada permanently in 2021, where he's been a regular starter and has scored 6 goals in 58 games. In 2023, he was loaned out to the Primera Liga side Vizela with an optional buy clause. He is still only 23 years old, so he may have a chance to prove himself at a higher level in the future. Rainier Rainier was another young talent that Zidane signed in January 2020. The Brazilian attacker had shown for Flamengo in his homeland and was dubbed the next Kaka by some. He cost 30 million euros and was expected to be a long-term investment for Madrid. However, he is yet to make his debut for the club as he's been loaned out to various clubs such as Borussia Dortmund, Girona and Frosinone in the Serie A where he has scored two goals in five games so far. Alphonse Ariola. Alphonse Ariola was a goalkeeper that Zidane brought in as part of the deal that took Kayla Navas to PSG in 2019. The Frenchman was supposed to be a reliable backup for Thibaut Courtois, who had just arrived from Chelsea. However, Ariola only played nine games for Madrid, mostly in the Copa del Rey and the Champions League group stage. He did not impress much and was sent back to PSG at the end of the season. He then joined Fulham on loan in 2020, where he helped them win promotion to the Premier League, but he could not prevent them from being relegated the following year. He's now at West Ham, where he is the second choice behind Lukas Fabianski. Takefusa Kubo Takefusa Kubo was a highly rated youngster that Zidane signed in 2019. The Japanese winger had been part of Barcelona's academy before he had to leave due to a FIFA ban. He also impressed for Mallorca in the 2018-19 season, scoring four goals and providing five assists. He joined Madrid on a six-year deal and was loaned out to various clubs such as Villarreal, Getafe and Real Sociedad. He's been one of the best players for Sociedad this season, scoring seven goals and providing eight assists in 37 games. He's still only 21 years old, so he has a bright future ahead of him. Theo Hernandez Theo Hernandez was a controversial signing that Zidane made in 2017. The French left-back had been on loan at Alaves from Atletico Madrid and had impressed with his pace and power. He joined Madrid for 30 million euros, despite being the brother of Atletico's Lucas Hernandez. He won the Champions League in his debut season at Madrid, but he was a bit part player, playing only 23 games in all competitions. He was loaned out to Real Sociedad for the 2018-19 season, where he improved his defensive skills and his crossing. He then joined AC Milan permanently in 2019, where he's been one of the best fullbacks in Europe, scoring 16 goals and providing 14 assists in 101 games. 
games. He's also become a regular for the France national team, winning the Nations League in 2021. Danny Sabalos Danny Sabalos was a promising midfielder that Zidane signed in 2017. The Spanish playmaker had been a star of the Under-21 European Championship, where he led his country to the final and won the Golden Ball Award. He joined Madrid for 18 million euros from Real Betis, and was expected to be the successor of Luka Modric. However, he found it hard to get regular game time under Zidane, who preferred more defensive-minded players like Casemiro or Tony Cruz. He only played 56 games for Madrid in two seasons, scoring five goals and providing two assists. He was loaned out to Arsenal for the 2019-20 and 2021 seasons, where he had mixed fortunes. He helped them win the FA Cup in 2020, but he also suffered from injuries and inconsistency. He returned to Madrid in 2021, where he has been a rotation option for Ancelotti, playing 25 games and scoring three goals. Andrea Lunin Andrea Lunin was a young goalkeeper that Zidane signed in 2018. The Ukrainian shot stopper had impressed for Zoria Luhansk in his homeland and was seen as a potential replacement for Courtois in the future. He joined Madrid for 8.5 million euros and was loaned out to various clubs such as Leganes, Valladolid and Oviedo. He had some good performances but he also struggled with injuries and a lack of playing time. He returned to Madrid in 2020, where he has been the third choice goalkeeper behind Courtois and Diego Altuve. He's only played four games for Madrid, but he's been a hero for his country, helping them win the FIFA U20 World Cup in 2019 and winning the Golden Glove Award at the tournament. Edda Militao Edda Militao was a versatile defender that Zidane signed in 2019. The Brazilian centre-back has been outstanding for Porto in the 2018-19 season, helping them reach the quarter-finals in the Champions League and finishing second in the Portuguese league title. He joined Madrid for 50 million euros and was expected to be a long-term partner of Sergio Ramos. However, he had a slow start to his Madrid career, as he had to compete with Rafael Varane and Nacho for a place in the team. He only played 15 games in his first season, making some costly mistakes and getting sent off twice. He improved in his second season, especially after Ramos got injured and Varane got COVID-19. He formed a solid partnership with Nacho and helped Madrid finish second in La Liga. Ferland Mendy Ferlin Mendy was a left-back that Zidane signed in 2019. The Frenchman had been impressive for Lyon in the 2018-19 season, helping them reach the round of 16 of the Champions League and finish third in League One. He joined Madrid for 48 million euros and was expected to compete with Marcelo for a place on the team. However, he soon established himself as the first-choice left-back thanks to his defensive solidity and his physical attributes. He played 43 games in his first season, scoring three goals and providing three assists. He also played 31 games in his second season, scoring two goals and providing one assist. He's been one of the most consistent performers for Madrid, as well as for France. Rodrigo Rodrigo was a young winger that Zidane signed in 2019. The Brazilian had been a sensation for Santos in his homeland, scoring 17 goals and providing 5 assists in 80 games. He joined Madrid for 45 million euros and was expected to be the next Neymar. He made an instant impact in his first season, scoring 7 goals and providing 3 assists in 26 games. He also scored a hat-trick against Galatasaray in the Champions League, becoming the second youngest player to do so after Raul. He had a more difficult second season as he suffered from injuries and loss of form. He only played 18 games, scoring three goals and providing one assist. He has been more consistent in his third season, playing 35 games and scoring six goals and providing seven assists. He's also been a regular for the Brazil national team, scoring four goals in 11 games. And that's it for today's video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and let us know in the comments what you think of Zidane's signings and who was the best and the worst. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.